Okay, uh, this is uh, another tutorial which is very similar to the one that I prepared for uh, three blocks uh, following a track. The only difference here is that there is a single cylind cylinder which is supposed to follow the track. There are, there are a couple of minor issues that one has to be careful. Alright, so I'm going to insert a new part in there <coughs> and uh, rename it to be the track. So this is going to be the track and track and my track is a very uh, straightforward uh, uh, let's make it a self, uh, let's make it a, uh, a circle how about that so on a convenient plane on the xy plane I will see and pat this okay so that's going to be my track now for a reason similar to the one that I had in uh, in the case of a telescopic mechanism I would like to create a point which belongs to this part on this uh, on the surface of this uh, uh, this uh, object so uh, you create a point on a plane. This is the plane. Okay, so I will just do it right there. It doesn't have to be the center, so anywhere on that is going to work. Okay, now we're going to insert our cylinder. So insert, insert a new part in there, and I will call it cylinder. Properties cylinder and okay, let's make it. Double click on this on a convenient plane, say on the XY plane. I will sketch. Where is the sketch? Okay, sketch a little circle, exit. Pad it. Okay, that's good. And I will create a point at the bottom of this uh, circle. We know how to do that. Point, circle center, select this circle, and there's my part. So that's it. As far as uh, uh, as far as the Design, assembly design, we anchor the base, we make a coincidence between this plane and the bottom plane, there, so it lifts it up basically, and I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to uh, move this point to that track, so between this point and problem is that I cannot move it, why don't I do the following, I will create a point on this uh, uh, boundary and then use the coincident to move it up. So let's try it. Let's go back to the track, select the point, center uh, on, on, on a curve, on this curve, it doesn't matter where, so there, there's a point, you can see that right there. Now let's do we'll go back to the assembly. Coincident between this point and that point. Okay, good. Now there are some constraints created here, so uh, let's go to the assembly design and uh, and uh, use the magic wand. DMU kinematic. Get the magic wand out. A new mechanism. Mechanism one. Okay, and let's check our joints. All right, we have a revolute joint. 
and uh, it's between the cylinder and the track. Okay, good. So let us now create a point curve joint between this point and that curve. So a point curve joint between this point, or first the, the track, and then this point but the point has to be at the bottom of the cylinder. There are two points here sitting on top of each other. So uh, I can hide this or I can go directly to the tree and select the point from the tree instead. All right. Good. Uh, let's see. Double click on the point curve joint, make it the length driven. All right. And notice that that did not do us any good. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to create, first of all, a, a planar joint between the bottom of the track and this top. So let me delete this uh, Revolut. And uh, planar between this face and, let's see, the bottom of that. Okay, that's, that's fine. Now, can I make this thing uh, length, so already length? So the point is that there is one persisting extra degree of freedom that is not uh, going away. The trick, uh, the, the, the trick that we use in, uh, uh, that's because of the spinning motion of the, of, of, of the cylinder. It's the same trick that we used in the telescopic mechanism. So what I'm going to do, is, uh, uh, first, I'm going to uh, uh, make sure that this point, this plane, passes through that point, okay? And that we can do in assembly design. All right, so let's do a point between vertical plane of the cylinder and that point. You'll, you'll turn it around so that it goes through that point. And then I'll go and create a point surface joint between the plane that I just rotated and that point. So back to the assembly, uh, back to the DMU. Create a point surface joint between that plane that I use and this point. And we say, this is to say the mechanism can be simulated and you know, you can make this thing move around. It was the same trick that we used in telescopic mechanism. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a little bit different from uh, the three three blocks, so uh, you can see why I did this. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll post this thing on Blackboard along with the other ones. Uh, let's see now. Uh, stop.